Today I'm talking about Invoked Dogmatica Shadal, an absolute classic fusion combo deck, combining powerful floodgates and easy engines for a ton of value. Let's start by going over some of the core combos for the deck. It'll help you understand the ratios later. Since we play Fairy Tail Snow for an additional disruption in material, the standard combo line for Shadal Construct changes to send a few extra cards to the graveyard. We're dumping Skirmata first to set up for a double chain block with both Windows Effect and Beast Effect in Grave. When all is said and done, you get a draw, Fairy Tail Snow with four cards in Grave, a gigantic Shadal Construct Beat Stick, and the Shadal Beast Flip Effect set up for next turn, all from one card. A more defensive and control-oriented play is to make Shadal Window off of Shadal Fusion. It's still a draw and a beast setup, but without the snow options. Typically, you should use the first combo if you're trying to break a board and establish a more even game state. The second combo is better for securing advantage after a board is already broken. This is the core combo for the Invoked Engine. It's very basic, but I thought I'd include it here for newer players. Basically, a single copy of the field spell searches Alistair, and Alistair searches Invocation. You can then link off the Alistair into the correct materials for whatever fusion summon you want to do. Then the invocation puts itself back in the deck to add Alistair back to your hand so you can do it again next turn. This turns your normal summon into OTK fodder with Purgatrio or an Omni Negate with Mechaba. Lastly, here's how to access Shadal Winda and still do full combo with Dogmaticas. Basically, Dogmatica Maximus lets us trigger the grave effects of Titanclad and Alpacon for two powerful searches. Fertilis gives us a monster negate. Shadal Schism lets us fusion summon using materials from the graveyard on our opponent's turn, thus letting us make Shadal Winda and get around the Dogmatica restrictions. This means we can still get to Shadal Winda without needing a Shadal card in hand. Nadir Servant and Dogmatica Ecclesia are just stepping stones helping us get here. Now, very big warning. Do not use Maximus if the opponent has graveyard effects on their extra deck monsters. If you can tell your opponent is playing branded, Dogmatica, or a deck that commonly has empty extra deck spaces, like Runic, be very hesitant about using Maximus' effect. You always have the Dogmatica Trap or Floor de Lis to fall back on for searches. Now onto the deck list. This list is optimized to be able to go first or second to account for the Master Duel Best of One format. So not only does this list run nine of the most impactful hand traps, Maxi, Ash, Boss of an Infinite Impermanence, this list uses Lightning Storm and Super Polymerization to break boards. The list has three main Super Polymerization targets. First, Mud Dragon of the Swamp, who's useful for breaking Despia and most combo boards. Second is any Shadal monster, which is how the deck typically opts to use Super Polymerization going first. It lets the deck eat any light or dark attribute monster the opponent would try and throw at us. Lastly, we can do the same thing with Alistair the Invoker. This one comes up the least, but it is extremely funny to normal summon Alistair, then immediately use Super Poly to make a Mechaba, then use Invocation to do it again. The Dogmatica and Invoked engines are ran at full power. For Invoked, 3 Magical Meltdown, 1 Terraforming, 3 Alistair the Invoker, and 2 Invocation. The reason you only run 2 Invocation, despite it being searchable, is it is best to have a backup plan if the first one gets negated or banished. The targets for Invoked Fusion Summons are 2 Mechaba as its best target, 1 Purgatrio for OTK options, and 1 Argides for additional removal. For Dogmatica, it's 3 of Ecclesias, as she's your main searcher, and 1 Nadir Servant, as it is the better searcher, but it is limited. And of course, 1 of each of your search targets. Remember, when you're building decks, you want to typically max out on your searchers, and cut as many of the search targets as possible. For Shadals, the ratios are one of each of Dragon, Skomata, and Hedgehog. Just to open up options, Hedgehog gives you an additional Shadal card in hand, and Dragon gives you Spell and Trap removal. We're running two Shadal Beast because of the aforementioned combos, and three Shadal Windy so this deck can have a really good grind game. Speaking of grind game, we run two Shadal Construct and one Shadal Winda. Spamming Construct is surprisingly a viable strategy, and we run one Alpacone, mostly for its graveyard search effects, but its on-field effect negate is relevant, so you can't discount it. Our miscellaneous extra deck cards are Natis for a dump target for Nadir Servant and Maximus skill. Cross Sheep lets us recur value cards like Shadal Dragon and Shadal Windy in a tight spot. Brita Anaconda gives us access to Super Polymerization, and Shadal Fusion right out of the deck. An important thing about Verte is he lets us get around the once per turn restriction of Shadal Fusion. It's a good idea to remember to use him as a material for Shadal Fusion since Verte has such low attack points. Now, here's a section where I show off some replays. Really awful hand for going first. Like, this is unplayable. It's the Shadal Classic. Big issue. Uh, the biggest issue with the deck is consistency. You've got like eight insanely powerful engine step. You've got three insanely powerful engines strapped together, so you get what you get. Tinky, let the Tinky resolve. We'll stop the Fractal, he searches. All 
Alright, throw a blade. Uh, fateful adventure. Okay. Go ahead and engage that. Now we're going to immediately max C here. Because he's just going to start... Oh, shoot. Okay, that sucks. He's going to have to play through an extra deck negate and probably a Zeus. Or, sorry, a single generic negate and a Zeus. If not more. Actually, no, he doesn't have access to the... Uh, negate because he doesn't have the token. Rod of Aramiser has to require you to control no monsters, if I remember correctly. No, no, it just does. Alright, never mind. But he's still short of the uh, Chimera. Or Griffin, Wandering Griffin. Show me what you got. You made the token. He's not opting for Zeus. Does he think he's still playing under Max Zeus? Well, he's smart. He makes a big XYZ stack on his Zodiac. Link plays. Interesting. Roberto? Is he gonna make Destiny Phoenix Fusion Enforcer? Branded Fusion. No, that's pretty good too. Well, yeah, give him that. Straighten Marriage Honestly, not the best. I'm gonna open up with a lightning storm to hit his back row. Super polymerization will come in clutch here. What's your response to my super poly? Okay, good. That's a disruption gone. Now we're gonna hope he doesn't have ash. If he has ash, we lose on the spot. That's a quick effect. Banish isn't great, but I'll make it work. We're going to set up snow by sending as many monsters as possible. You know, I have a big play to make. Check this out. He's thinking if he wants to banish it, it's fine if he does. That's the one that searches a tribe again at the end phase, if I remember correctly. Let him go ahead and do this. And we're gonna go ahead and send my boy Beast. Chain link one Beast and chain link two Windy. We're gonna set another copy of Beast. Actually, we're gonna be destroyed on the end phase, so let's rethink what we're doing here. Setting Beast wouldn't be the best option, setting Hedgehog would, because it's gonna get destroyed. Magical Meltdown. 
Ooh -hoo. Oh, that's better than what I was gonna do. You can do so much now. That opens up so many plays. I think we're just probably gonna go into Mechaba. We can negate the fusion effect. Do we have a light and grave? Does he have a light and grave? No, that kinda sucks, but what can you do? Uh, go ahead and make Mechaba. Loop this. I want a super poly using his monster. And when it activates the effect to vanish and grave, or to wipe my field and grave, we will go ahead and just negate it with Mechaba. And go ahead and discard Stall Fusion. And we get another monster in hand. Thanks to the hedgehog we just sent to grave. It's all coming together now. And if he's not careful... We have game. Easy peasy. Fairy Tower Snow is a stupid card and will likely get banned once the elements come out. So yeah, we gotta abuse that while we can. Victory. And what a great hand for going second. Maxi and Ash Blossom, amazing. Plus we have access to the full Dogmatica engine and Invocation. Okay, I am going to maxi this, in case he wants to go immediately for the special summon. We'll be saving the Ash Blossom for the Branded Fusion, of course. There's a good chance he'll be able to protect it, but I think it's worth taking that risk. Because that is one of the... Oh! Oh no! But except by drawing them. That, that doesn't work. I got really, like, excited there, but that doesn't actually work. Sure, go ahead and add your Branded Fusion. Yep. You know, if he wanted to play around Max C, he didn't have to. He could have just normaled that. I'll let him do this. He actually hit one. Oh, and he hit the best possible one. Sure. That's fine. Boop, 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 boop. Now, any play he makes has to be a bit of a backup plan. He's probably just going to pass, yeah. So that's an add to the bottom in hand, and two mysterious back row, which are about to not, which are about to be a lot less mysterious. Tell me what you got. 
garbage. Now we're just gonna do some standard invoked, uh, standard invoked combos followed by dogmatica plays. Really not a lot he can do here. We don't quite have game on him, but it might as well be. Do you have any graveyard recursion options? Not that I'm seeing. I wonder what the point of the shared ride was. It's not like this is pendulum format where that's a good option. It's just kind of mediocre at best. here. Uh, yeah, we'll do we'll do the shit all play. I'm gonna dump App Cologne. I'm gonna add, we already have an Ecclesia in hand, so we could add a Maximus. Uh, we're gonna add a Flirt at least. But we're gonna, we're gonna send Alistair the Invoker to Grave, so we have a Dark and Grave, so we can Fusion Summon into Window, which should all schism. There's not another dark in our grave, unfortunately. We're just gonna go ahead and flesh out our board here. We might have had game if we wanted to be a bit more greedy here, but I don't think it's a good idea to be excessively greedy in this game. much rather just ensure the victory as opposed to maybe get blindsided by something else. There's not a card in his deck that saves himself from this situation. Baiting the scoop. Gonna go ahead and flip that up. Play around the lightning storm. What does he hit me with? Absolutely nothing. Alright. He's just gonna wait out the timer to be a jerk. Classic move. Yeah, there's no report button in this game. Yep. And our hand is actually pretty decent for going second. Super Polymerization lets us handle Branded if it comes up, and Shadal Fusion gives us a play against most decks. Let's see what he goes into here. Trap Tricks. Ooh. Not the best, but I believe Super Poly does have some targets here. There's the big Sarah. Is that a- oh, he's playing with a Dogmatica engine. Interesting. This is gonna suck a lot to play through. A lot of traps. We're gonna need like a lightning storm if we're gonna come out of this. Never mind, lightning storm will not help anymore. Is he just gonna make? All right. All right. We have several pretty big plays here. Let's start with the most powerful blowup. Shadal Fusion. 
We're gonna go on the construct for maximum value. Judgment, fair enough. What did he search off Ecclesia again? Punishment, okay. Punishment's fine. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to normal summon Windy. Let's see how he takes to this. And then we're going to immediately Super Poly. We're gonna go to Construct one way or another. Little preemptive, but I really think we need to do this. And of course we're going to chain block construct. Hmm. For a bit of consistency, we're going to... We're going to send... No, we're just going to send Dragon. There's an option to send Skormata if we want to deck then a bit. But I think Dragon just straight into it is probably the better option. Let's pop this one. There it is, we got rid of that. I don't think he has a lot of good options to send here. He definitely can get rid of it, but... Okay, that one, yeah, it's not too great for him. And we're gonna go ahead and get our Shadal Fusion back. Special summon, that's fine. We're gonna wipe his board. He's also playing. We can't go in the Maximus since we know he's also playing Dogmatica, which really does suck. So we're probably just gonna have to go into beatdown. Wait. Say normal summon from the deck? Uh Okay, sure. He does get to set one home. When Elite Monsters Link Summon, that does nothing against Um, he can't well yeah, he can't summon. Oh we negated the activation, we get the shit all fusion again. That's huge. Like actually huge. Uh, what is the play here? We're going to make another Shadal Construct. This time we're going to do the full combo. Combo is very simple. We're trying to get as much materials in the grave for snow as possible. So we're going to send Squamata. And then use Construct's effect to send an extra material. Sure, it doesn't matter you flip this to face down defense position. That's quite all right with me. It's got the effect it needed to get off. Uh, we're going to send Hedgehog to the graveyard. And I guess we'll go ahead and send Schism so we can get that back when we want it. Hedgehog effect. Okay, he's going to go ahead and special summon it. That's fine. We might end up at, uh, using Verte Anaconda to make some funny plays here. Compulse. Okay, he's gonna compulse me. That's not enough to stop what I'm doing here today. This is where it gets a little shaky. We don't know what this last trap card is, which I'm a bit worried about. 
If I want to be extra spicy, we do just go into Maximus. It's not great, but it is really funny. Definitely not the right play. I'll have to go on the floor to lease. Is there anything worth negating here? Let's go ahead and negate that. Oh, uh, oh. We'll just activate it now. Go ahead and end. That was a really weird turn. We played through a. Oh, shit. It was an MST. Well, that sucks. Luckily, I don't think he has access to any trap trick monster. And if he does attempt to summon one, we're going to snow it face down so he can't link off with it. He's probably just going to set one and pass. That is the likely play. He could also try to do something. Actually, he can't link off off with it, he, uh, punishments us. Do we want to flip that face down? Come on, set. Uh, let's see what he searches. That's going to determine whether or not we book this. I believe there are several trap chick monsters that special summon themselves for free. If you control another one, not too, too sure. Sure. What does that accomplish, though? You said compulse? Can't link. I frame Lord Omega, that's a... Okay, so he's gonna reset his thing. He can't really get anything this turn. Most he can do is beat over something with Heavenly Water Prison. And that's not enough to put him back in the game. Yep, and he's just gonna scoop. Again. Thanks for watching. I haven't done a deck profile in a while, so I hope y'all like this one. I'll see you guys next time.